Hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here in Rosymorn Monastery, exploring, trying to find out if there's anything we can gain here, uh, any information we can learn about the... Taking my time. The tadpoles, anything we can get from the... Uh, the Githyanki. And we know that the Githyanki are here, they're hostile to us, uh, as well as some kobolds. We've explored the top level, the roof, if you will, of the monastery. But we're now on the second floor. We're working our way down. We're trying to find things out. One thing we did notice is that there's this enchanted door here. And uh, it's got Morning Lord's Bulwark on it. So, real quick, uh, we are going to head to camp. And swap somebody out for, uh, for Gale. So I think we'll, uh, we'll tell Carlock to hang back for a second. Halson is one hench elf. I'm impressed. And glad he's on our side. Oh, fair enough. Sounds boring. Yeah. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's go grab Gale. Get him in the party. Hmm. A savvy move recruiting else into our cause. While I'm adept at most forms of weave manipulation, druidic magic is not my area of expertise. He will make for a most useful option to have in reserve. Fair enough. Everybody likes Halson. Okay. With pleasure. Lead on. Okay, hey, uh, he's going to join us. We'll return. We'll see if he can dispel this magic. If not, we'll have to find another way in. All right, so uh, we want to cast... Is it... Uh, it uh, dispel magic is a level 3 spell slot, right? Uh, I might not have it in his uh, repertoire just at the moment. Let's go to his spell book. Counter spell... Animate dead. I thought we had learned this for him. Huh, it seems... Class actions... I could have sworn we had this. Did I maybe send him a scroll of dispel magic? Polymorph. Huh. I really thought, honestly, I honestly thought we had this spell on him. Well, this was a giant waste of time. Does anybody have a dispel magic filter uh, anywhere? Dispel? No, nobody has dispel magic. Okay, well, uh, sorry guys, this was a this this sucks. Um, I don't suppose he can examine this or. Open, locked, Gale. Yeah, all right. Well, that's not going to do it. All right, let me go back to camp. I, I could have sworn I had a, a scroll of that or I had learned it on his level up, but I guess not. Uh, so let's get, uh, let's get uh, Carlock back. Always a delight to speak with you. I question the... I'll be here. Always a pleasure. Hey, soldier. Okay, we'll have to find another way into this room. Perhaps there's a, perhaps there's a button or a lever or a, I don't know, a, a, a key, a magic key somewhere that will let us get in there. I suppose it's worth trying with a star in here. Can you unlock this? Interesting. It seems he can. Well, he just rolled exactly what he needed. So the door is enchanted, but we don't really know what that means. It seems we can actually open it. Oh, there's somebody inside. A guardian of faith. Carlock failed a hiding check. That's okay. So somebody has... Somebody has, like, pushed a... A bed up against the door here. So, Guardian of Faith, that's a spell, I believe. And if we come in range of it, it it'll attack us. Uh, I think. When an, when an entity enters your attack range, you can strike them. Yeah, so... Why do we want to get in here? We've got a broken cabinet, a mirror... 
I'm not entirely sure why we want to get in here, why this door was warded. What else do we see? We see a rusty short sword. Hmm, this is, this is a bit of a conundrum. I'm not sure what to make of this. Unless we can speak to the Guardian. It doesn't seem like it. It is guarding. There's a couple of dead skeletons at its body. Piles of bones. I'm not entirely sure what this is about then. I, I, I sort of thought this would be a treasure room or there'd be a secret here. It's, which is not to say that there isn't, but... I can't move or drag this bed. I suppose I could attack it. Can I, can I jump somewhere? I can jump in here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. A guardian of faith spell. And a remarkably long-lasting one at that. So if we try to approach the skeletons, I imagine he'll attack us. Uh, he does have hit points, so technically we can probably fight him. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. What can we actually see? Now, I'd appreciate it if you guys... Let me uh, unlink everybody so they don't step into his range accidentally. We've got a broken cabinet with nothing. Some wispweed and mugwort. There's a gilded chest here. Let's crack this open. Inside we have a scroll of remove curse and a scroll of stone skin. Both interesting. Um, this is a concentration spell. I, I, neither of these are things that... Well, remove curse we probably want to know, so let's send that to Gale to learn. And then stone skin, like, it's hard to use because who's going to concentrate on that instead of something that does damage, right? I guess technically you could have someone back at camp cast it and, and maintain concentration throughout the day. There's a ceremonial battle axe here and then the skeletons. I wonder if this is something we want to try to fight and or loot? Well... We can't speak with it. So the only thing we can do is try to take this and see if it... So if she steps into his range, will she get attacked? I don't know. I wonder if we can just, like, make ranged attacks on it. Oh, see, they kind of crossed the boundary there and didn't get hurt. I wish there was... I wish we could speak to it. So I have a feeling if I pick this up, it's going to attack us. Maybe we should just attack it first? Not a very high chance to hit. But if we stay outside of its range, maybe we can just destroy it? All right, let's enter turn-based mode here and try uh, ranged attacks. We'll see. And that did put us into combat here. Took nine damage. Okay. Wow. Doesn't seem like she's going to be able to hit it with 30% chance to hit. What about if she goes in for a normal attack? Somehow entering it... Yeah, entering it provokes an attack of opportunity. Let's go back to fire... I don't know if it can move or not. Let's go back to firing ranged weapons at it and just see what we can do before it gets a chance to act. And there's a miss. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it can't move. That's what I thought. So we'll just sit back and... and Plink away at it until we can defeat it. We'll just do our best here to kind of clear it out. I'm assuming if we do enough damage, it'll it'll end the spell. It'll destroy it. So all we have to do is not move, and we should be able to get rid of it. a nice crit. We seem to be rolling fairly well to hit it despite its high AC. Okay, there we go. That gets rid of the spell. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. But at least we took no damage. Let's go ahead and loot the ceremonial battle axe. 
And these skeletons. He just had a bone. Bone there. Three gold. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this was all about. Just an ordinary dagger. Very odd. What's in the mirror? Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. I feel like there should have been something else here. I guess it's just like a story element. Like they 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 barricaded themselves inside, they put up the guardian of faith spell that lasted forever, and that's about it. Let's check that ceremonial battle axe. Anything interesting about that? It's a plus one weapon, that's about it. Okay. Well. This was kind of a dud. Let's see if we can move this stuff out of the way. No, we can't. All right. Huh. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Uh, we'll talk about her wound later. Let's get out of here for now. A uh, little bit of a disappointment there that the warded door... I guess, yeah, I guess it's just a story element, right? They, they barricaded themselves in, inside, they warded the door, they cast Guardian of Faith, and, you know, they, they all died in there, I guess. So we climbed down these knotted roots last time. Let's have the whole party sneak up. And let's uh, let's check. Let's start, you know, investigating a little bit. Let's see what we can learn and we can find. There should be, I believe, kobolds in here somewhere. We saw them on the map at one point. Uh, all right, let's let's creep up here, cross this gap. Uh, there may be kobolds down below. Can't, uh, can I go to the overhead map? No, this is the entryway. Okay. Well, all right, let's hop over. So now we've got this path and this side path over here. Looking over here, doesn't seem to be much to see. Although, possibly, we can glance through this barricade. Maybe there's something over here. Looks like just a pool of water. And maybe... Yeah, not too much else, doesn't seem. No real reason to come out here. Okay. We do have a balcony and then a door into, like, a library or something. I think we'll check the balcony first. Just take a look, quick look. Looks like we've got a wooden trunk and that's about it. And then the door into that library area. All right, so let's check the trunk. Nothing, all right. Let's go through the door here. Do we see any enemies in here or anything else of interest? No, not, not immediately. What we got going on here? Uh, elixir of necrotic resistance. We can take that. All right, that's definitely worth having. Uh, Astarian, go ahead and unlock this iron gate. Seems we're now above the cobalt, so maybe we rain down fire on them from above. Let's not get caught. Time to crack this open. Let's take the elixir. And let's read His Holy Blood, Volume 3, Dawn Master Vesid. We read about the blood last time. The, uh, the acolyte monk was writing about the blood. This missal commemorates the founding of Rosymorn Monastery. For my sins, it only just occurred to me that I had lacked in my record-keeping of late. But then again, I... No, we have been busy. In our fray with the Sharon thieves, we retrieved the blood. But one of the heretics sinned most heinously. They struck the amber, encasing his blood with a maul of pure void, damaging the most holy relic. As if knowing of this blasphemy, the exposed blood shone with an unbreakable radiance, reducing the Sharan horde to dust for us to sift from this now holy ground. The relic became far too unstable to carry back to Hap. Thus, we fashioned a simple chapel around ourselves here, and have encased the blood within steel, to be wielded as a most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. To keep it from the lustful sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapel will become a great monastery, and the blood shall be secreted away with many, with a great many more wiles than it was before. 
I find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in such an obvious open place to begin with. Alas, his sight singes away the mistakes of the past, leading to a more fortuitous dawn indeed. So this seems to be suggesting that in the past, uh, the Lathanderite clerics had an artifact, uh, some sort of gem or piece of amber perhaps, with some of his blood in capitals, which might mean Lathander's blood, uh, embedded within it. They battled against the Sharons and defeated them, and then came here and built this monastery to protect and hide it away. It also seems they've made some sort of cudgel or perhaps a mace out of it, so a fantastic weapon uh, in encasing divine blood. I'm sure it's a, some sort of magical weapon. Uh, perhaps we can find that and maybe give it to Shadowheart here. Uh, Shadowheart, for some reason, is not sneaking. Let's get everybody snuck up. Waiting with bated breath. Let's see what else we can find here. Uh, we've got... Another book about the Dawnmaster Vasid over here. I am interested in that, so we'll have a star in here crack this gate open as well, and we'll read that. This is where we first came in. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's read this, this lore as well. An epic-looking tome that opens with an illustrated panel of Dawnmaster Vasid riding into battle against an army of Sharan clerics. In his raised hand, his trusted battle axe, its sharp edge glinting in Lathander's light. Okay, so it's just like... It's nothing special. Okay, so we came in through the door. Did the easy path. What else can we do here? I've already fought all of them. Uh, down below us... are the Kobolds. We don't really want to tangle with them just yet. We want to find a better entry point to get a uh, an ambush on them. So let's check out what's going on over here. We, uh, I think we climbed up this room, right? This is how we got to the roof last time? Yeah, it is. So we've already, yeah, I think we've already checked all of these uh, chests and things out. Yeah, we already went into that opulent chest. All right. So we got to go another way. What do we have over here? Potion of animal speaking recipe. That's probably fine. I think we already have that. So I think we go to this door now. Uh, we don't need to... Hmm. I'm just trying to find the right way. Alright, I don't think we've been in there yet, so we probably want to head that way. Here goes nothing. Alright, let's crack this door open. That takes us back to this path. Alright, there's the barricade we saw. And then we want to get into the room over here. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff over here. And then, was there more this way? That's where we fought the thing. Not really. There's like a little bit over here. But I think we're going down to the ground floor next to fight the kobolds and then maybe the, uh... Maybe the, uh... Githyanki. So we found another- there's another ceremonial weapon here. We found three of them so far. Let me double check. Uh, ceremonial, right? We have a ceremonial warhammer and a ceremonial battle axe. I did equip this on our girl. It's only a plus one weapon enchantment. I I don't know. Is there something else we should be equipping for her? Let me take a look at what's available here. Let's look at uh or well let's look at this. Let's look at it this way. She can equip a salami, apparently. <laughs> axe is a club. Um Adamantine Longsword. Ignores resistance to slashing damage. Uh, this is the Bone Saw. It acts as a normal plus one longsword, but gives us that special ability. Um, cacophony. This is a quarter staff with an additional d4 of thunder. A ceremonial battle axe, a ceremonial warhammer. Uh, the charge bound warhammer. This hammer's magical powers only function if it's bound to an eldritch knight. Or as a Warlock's Pact Weapon. So we can't actually use this. We should probably send this to Will. Uh, we've got Cruel Sting. Again, this only does the extra damage against restrained targets. Plus one Dagger. Plus one War Pick. Inflict Shattered on Hit. What was Shattered again? Uh, deals an additional piercing damage against sharding, shattered targets. So, this one deals a little bit more damage, uh, if you're hitting multiple times. That could be good. 
Now this one says six to 13. This one says five to 12, because it's not a plus one. All right, what else do we got here? Faith breaker, just a plus one. We never really found a super great weapon for her, huh? We don't want a two-handed weapon. What else do we have here? A hand axe plus one. Uh, great sword, no. Halberd, no. Maul, uh, halberd, quarterstaff. What was this one? The Phalar Aluve. Plus one damage, and then also, yeah, this was the one with the Phalar Aluve Melody that we couldn't really figure out a good time to use. Um, Sorrow's a Glaive, Speedy Reply's a Scimitar. Steelforged Longsword, again, just, just a plus one. Uh, plus one. We've got a Rapier here that does Psychic Damage. Uh, but she's more strength than dex. Is it a, was it a finesse weapon? Where did that rapier go? Finesse should mean she can use strength if she wants to. Yeah, this sort of screams. Maybe we want this one. Because for her, this is 6 to 13. And this is 6 to 16. So maybe this is better for her. Let's get that equipped. Uh, Sword of Screams, 1d4. So why isn't it doing the... Why isn't it doing the 1d4 extra now? Plus 10 to attack, 5 to 12. Seven to seventeen. Maybe she's not proficient with it. Oh, that's a great sword. Hold on. What did she have on before? Just a plus one warhammer. Yeah, she had just like a plus one weapon before. So like this. So that's doing six to eleven, and then the rapier. Where did that go? Sort of screams. Five to twelve. Well, okay, let's leave, let's leave this on for now and see how that does next time we're in combat. And then where did her shield go? I don't know why. Oh, because, yeah, because I took off, because I accidentally equipped a two-handed weapon. Uh, which one did she have? I don't even know. Saving throws plus one. Ensnaring strike. I definitely want her with... This is stealth plus one. This is saving throws plus one. Did I have another... Did I have anything else on her? I don't need Woad's ensnaring strike. I don't need an offhand weapon, so... I think this must be what I had equipped. Right? I don't... She doesn't need a salami in her offhand, although that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll go with the Sword of Screams, and we'll watch for that psychic damage next time we're in combat. Sorry, that was a long uh, bit of inventory management that happened there. But I'm trying to figure out, like, I've got so many, like, weapons that just aren't materially better than another one. I'm trying to figure out what her best option is. That adamantine longsword's not bad, but I prefer the extra damage. Let's check the plaque here. Dawnmaster Vasaid. Vasaid. Okay, I guess I was pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, we have the guest book here. Let's take a quick peek at that. A public guest book in which there are multiple handwritten entries from pilgrims who visited over the years. My home is as dark as my spirit. I pray that you will light, bring me light. Annual Kythorn pilgrimage. Good to see your statue again, my lord. Never been here before in person. The stained glass windows are astonishing. We'll definitely recommend to others. Monks are friendly. We'll visit again once. We'll visit again. This is like the equivalent of five stars, right? <laughs> uh, they're just reviews, essentially. It's 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 the D and D version of Yelp. Oh, there's an old key here. Let's snatch that up in case we need it. The plaque here says, "Dawnmaster Welkin Glory." All right. Let's take the ceremonial longsword. I don't know why. Then stopped glowing. How odd. That is odd. Uh, so this is, again, just a... Wait, where did it go? Ceremonial... 
Longsword. It's just a standard longsword with a plus one weapon enchantment. Can I examine this? The complex filigree wraps around the base of this blade, the runes on the side suggesting it is not merely decorative. Hmm. Well, the sword stopped glowing. I don't really know what that means, but that's what happened. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we need to place... Maybe we need to place them all. Hold on. So the longsword was here, right? Hold on, I have an idea. Uh, ceremonial. So the longsword... goes here. Um, I need you... Hold on. Alright, Shadowheart, you're being cute. Let's get you down off of this, please. Okay. Ceremonial. Uh, let's place the longsword back on the plinth here. Starts glowing. Okay. Now, I don't know which belongs to who. Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Seed. All right. Ceremonial. Could you be the battle axe? It got knocked off. Okay. The Warhammer the Warhammer goes there. Okay. That's interesting. The uh the battle axe got knocked off. It was like I don't belong here. Dawn Master Stockhold. Um now we saw actually in the book over there, I can't remember where we saw it, in the Iron Gate. We saw which weapon uh the uh Dawnmaster Vasaid or whatever was using, but I can't remember. We just read it a minute ago, but I can't remember. So we'll just try and see if this goes here or not. It might be that he was wielding his battle axe. Yeah, we took a damage and got knocked down. It's because it doesn't belong there. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I gotta pick it up. I can't just drag it over. I gotta pick it up. Uh, okay. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Let's put the battle axe here. Okay, so if we find one more ceremonial weapon, we can come back and put it here, and we'll see what happens. It feels like we're we're building towards some sort of ritual. Uh, let's ex let's can we try to use this stained glass window? Monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Ah, sword, hammer. Uh, so we have Saeed, or Vasaid. That's that must be the broken one. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Okay. We did Stockhold and Welking Glory, so what are we looking for for seed? A dagger, maybe? The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. He's got a hammer. Stockhold? Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. He's got an amulet, maybe? Dawnmaster and the longsword. Beckons forth the rising sun in Lavanda's name. Okay, so the one that's left should be Seed, I think? Because we haven't found an amulet yet. Dawn Master Stockhold. Now that's strange, because... Well, we... I mean, they only want to go on certain things. Dawn Master Seed. They only wanted to go on certain plinths. Alright, so we're... Uh, I mean, I don't know... I don't know what we're looking for here, but we gotta find something. What did she find? Oh, look at this. Out here, there's something. All right. We gotta find one more ceremonial something somewhere. A trap disarm toolkit for Astarian, and I don't really care about the rest of this. So yeah, we gotta be on the lookout uh, for another ceremonial weapon, and then remember 
to come back here and put it on Stockholm's pedestal and see what that does. Seems like we're building towards some sort of reward if we solve this puzzle, I guess. Okay, so we've explored the second floor. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else we can go. I guess we can crack this door open and then go like maybe down here and see what's over there. Yeah, I think that's where we go next. So let's have everybody make the jump again. Let's make sure we get all four of our companions. All right, everybody made it. Very nice. And then let's re-sneak. Uh, I guess we can kind of like creep over here a little bit and look down. See if we see anything of note. Down there. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh, let's crack open this door and make our way down to the first floor. We're not going in the front, so we should have a little bit of an advantage. At least in terms of, like, getting a drop on somebody. Got a skeleton over there. Old maintenance records. Reminder to the caretaker. When oiling the machines, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stones become loose of late and has a tendency to slip. Novice Perrin was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. Okay. Uh, we should be aware, then, that there's somewhere, there's some sort of statue with a, uh, with a trap in it or, a, or something. Uh, we failed a perception check, but I think it's this crumbling wall. Hmm. What's that? What could be beyond here? This is just another entry into the same room we've already been in, so we don't need to knock that down. All right, let's creep down. Get to there and then to here without taking any falling damage. Okay, everybody made that. Very nice. Keep them busy. Oh, this statue is. We have to fire the Talking statues are never a good sign. Okay, she failed an Arcana check. Can can one of you guys take a look? I prefer my statues to be the strong, silent type, personally. All right, they're all failing their, their Arcana checks here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some guidance on Astarian, since he's kind of our last hope. I don't think Karlock's going to be able to do anything. At least the statues just talk. With my luck, I'm sure they'd attack. All right, it's worth a shot. Maybe Karlock rolls a nat 20 or whatever. Talking statues. No. I don't like the sound of that. Everybody failed. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So she seemed to be talking about the fight between the fight between the uh, the Lathanderites and the Sharans many many moons ago. She doesn't seem to be commenting on us. She said something like, "You know, be gods preserve us. We must fire the the thing on the roof." I don't really know what that's about, but I think she's stuck in the past, that talking head, and we need to figure out... I guess they're going to give warning if they see us. There could be other statues elsewhere, so we'll need to be on the lookout for that. All right, so we're down on the first floor. Our paths are blocked from place to place. We could probably jump through here if we really had to and get to that, or we could bust down this barricade. Um, but we're, we're now in the realm of... Both the kobolds and the gith. So we gotta we gotta proceed with caution here. What do we have over there? Must be on my way. Extracts the rule of three. Inventory of offerings. There's something up here. I guess that's just decoration. I thought it was uh, perhaps a button, but no. Inventory of offerings. Let's check this out. Uh, food and offerings brought to the monastery. That's not helpful. Got a lavish chair. Some wooden barrels. Uh, I guess we can break down this barricade. There doesn't seem to be anyone on the other side of it, so we should be okay in terms of making noise. 
something over there. Okay, it's immune to psychic damage. She's not rolling very high, but... Oh, it's resistant, I think, to her blade. Uh... Slashing vulnerability. Slashing against this entity is doubled? Oh, and piercing resistance, right, because we have the rapier on. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just brute force it. Okay, so it is good to remember she's doing piercing damage now, not, uh... Out of sight, out of mind. Not slashing. But it was also doing the, the psychic damage, so maybe that's a good thing. We can always, if, if, the, if the weapon doesn't work out for us, we can always swap back to something else. But it seems like the one with the highest damage potential at the moment, uh, barricades aside. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we've got kobolds beyond this door. So let's, let's see what happens. Do we go straight into combat? No, we've avoided that fate. Okay. I guess we don't have a choice here. We got to creep through. We gained 300 experience, so we've reached somewhere difficult to reach, I guess. Yeah, nothing of interest here. We do have a skeleton, so we'll check him out. Yeah, nothing all that good there either. Rusty longsword and a grease bottle. Uh, okay, so down here is just chasm. We know there are kobolds around here somewhere. Also, we haven't seen any sign of the gith, which is a little troubling. I, wonder, I don't know where they are. Were they through here? No, that's the front that's the front door, right? Yeah, I could have sworn I guess they're off to the right. They're around here somewhere. They've like hidden themselves away or something. So we're gonna move slowly here. I could have sworn they were down here. And for that matter, if they aren't, where are they? Huh. Okay. There's a lever here. We can use that, I guess, to open up the front door if we really want to. Might as well. We do have more iron gates with, like, uh, stuff behind it. A, 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 a potion and uh, more lore. Alright, so let's crack the gates open. That's something. Uh, let's have a Starian crack in here. Wow, that's a failure. Okay. That's unusual for him, but let's try again with another thieves tool. That 27's more like it. All right, Tava. Go grab the potion. And let's read his Holy Blood Volume 2, Paladin Vasaid. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Now, what do you uh, read the book? Read the book. Okay. This missile charts an expedition to find a lost relic called the Blood of Lathander. While mine eyes remain unscorched, we have made great progress in finding his lost blood. After many suns of searching, I pen this entry as our gaze lies upon a Sharan outpost nestled among the valleys of the Chianthar. We know the Sharans hold the blood. They dropped a cargo trunk during transport one eve and its lid slipped open. Twas only a moment, but my shining adherents, what a moment it was! The entire riverbank aflame with a soothing radiance. The same rosy light of a summer dawn. I could practically hear his morning song bouncing between the valley walls. We advance upon those heretic nightbringers at the first light of dawn tomorrow, and shall leave naught but ashes in our wake. Okay. Uh, we've got a scroll of gust of wind and his holy blood volume one. I guess we're reading this in reverse, but uh, let's get the rest of the story here.
Okay, uh... His radiance has faded from our unworthy gazes, O oh ye lifeless wretches! We have failed the morning, Lord, and I record that failing in the pages of this tome. To think he once stood on our imperfect world, among us imperfect mortals, and felled the villain Samaster with his holy brilliance. He bled for us, brethren, and we were tasked with locking our gazes eternally upon his blood. We let those gazes falter, and the blood was taken, wrenched from our sight. It is a test, one that this chapel is duty-bound to undertake. I pass the keeping of this record along to Paladin Vasaid, chosen in light to find the relic. Paladin, when you look upon the blood, I pray Lathander honors your deeds by burning out your eyes. Well, that's pretty uh, intense. Uh, Samas Samaster, uh, actually, uh, was one of the original liches, I believe, who wrote the dragon prophecy which governs the cult of the dragon. Uh... I'm pretty sure that's who it is. The alt there's a there's also a lich. I've heard that name before. I'm pretty sure it's a lich. He might be the ruler of Thay, but that might be another lich. I can't quite remember. But I I'm, I think he's the one who wrote the dragon prophecy many many like cent millennia ago even not even not even centuries. Okay. Uh. I mean, there's cobalt somewhere. I guess we just gotta keep going until we find him. I know we saw them. Were they in here? No. I don't know where they've gotten to. Oh, they're through they're through there. Okay, they're all in here. I'm not quite sure how we get in there. Let's have a look. So we could we saw this. We could drop down there. Oh, we found a dirt mound. Alright. Go ahead, go ahead, dig it up. Uh, purple fluorite shard and silver band, so just some wares. I'm not sure what the best way to get in here is. Um, we can see... I can't really see a way down other than, like, dropping down here from above, which could... which would seemingly incur some damage on us. So if we... Was there a... Oh, there was a door here. Okay. How do we get... How do we get in here, though? We were in here at one point. I guess we go through these windows? Yeah, alright. Let's come out here, go through the windows, open the door, and fight the kobolds. Right? Because why not? Now, I, I had said at one point I was considering, uh, like, speaking to them. Uh, what are you? Too drunk. It's not possible. Okay, so he is... He's a cobalt looter, he's sleeping. He did speak. He fell down drunk in front of us. Can I... examine? I mean, he would be super easy to kill, but they're all drunk, right? He's fallen asleep. Yeah, they're all, they're all like... They're all falling asleep. There, I should also be pretty wary. There's a bunch of fire wine barrels in here, which could go very badly for us. So I'd love to find one who's awake and speak to him. See, we're not even sneaking. We're not, we're standing up, and the only option it gives us is to attack them. So there's no, like... There's no, like, uh, speaking with them, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but... What happens if we just walk in? There's gotta be some of them who are awake, who notice us, right? So we go straight into combat, and they all wake up. Weird, man. That was very strange. Alright, well, what do we want to do here? We want to avoid uh, any fire wine, or at least blow it up ourselves. And not get trapped by it. Uh, alright. Well, Astarian's first, which is not great. Let's have him uh, fight this guy. Alright, there's one down. 
They got surprised, I guess, because they were drunk? Well, I mean, the good thing is at least we know there was no way to talk to them, right? Kill that one. Let's bonus action jump up here. And then kill this one. And then probably rush over here. Okay, that's a good turn for her. Okay, well, we've got temporary hit points at the moment, so that's fine. I'm trying to hit Tava as a... Fire could be explosive. Yeah, don't use fire. Agreed. Um, what is this? 4 to 11 versus 3 to 8. She's actually... T she's terrible with her main hand. All right, let's just use ranged attacks then. Nothing important is ever easy. Uh, for you... 7 to hit plus 3 damage. Okay. So it's still it's it is a d8. All right. Well, whatever. Um I guess we can loot this guy. A ceremonial mace plus 1. I guess send it to Shadowheart, but uh we'll take this. Cobalt journal. What's in here? A collection of drawings some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds in varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves and some on each other. The final pages, however, feature more varied subjects. A soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. All right, well, that's a good reminder that the Gith are not just the Gith. They, they, they do have some, uh, potentially some, uh, some dragon support. Another day, another fight. Here's a nice crit. With haste. Let's head up here. They're all sozzled and drunk, and there's wine barrels everywhere, so let's definitely avoid the fire. Uh, what do we have here? Flourish? Sure, let's flourish this guy. Not enough movement. All right. Well, let's not let him push us off uh, with a with a lucky roll on an athletics check. These three are surprised, or no? They're they're throwing stones. All right. That's a miss. That's a miss. Okay. Who's left and who's up? We got uh, a starian here. Let's have him come up to here and take a shot with sneak attack on somebody. There's 23 damage, very nice. The Kobold Inventor? Oh dear. I think we had, did we have fire resistance on her? No, I had poison resistance. All right, well, too bad. Uh, let's cleave here with Carlock. That'll kill two of them. Super nice. She got stunned, but that's okay after taking out two. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. We want to take out the inventor who's throwing... Yeah, we want to take out this guy. Uh, we have disadvantage because of him. Yikes. Alright, we definitely want to take the inventor out. We don't want anybody throwing anything else. Let's do Wounding Ray here on this guy? No, on that guy. Here's a nice 13 damage. All right, we'll take that. Do we have... We don't have any kind of attack as a bonus action, so let's end turn. Uh, let's have Tava go kill... Oh, she can't, huh? I guess we have to kill this guy first. And then this guy? Okay, that's helpful. Throwing stones. All right, uh, you, let's definitely, we don't need a vampire bite here, but let's go after the inventor. Okay, that takes care of him. Carlock, just kill this one. And then if you can, let's get this one too. Okay, and that just leaves one guy left. Where's he? He's messing with, with Shadowheart. Not, not cool, dude. Not cool. And she misses. Alright. Uh... Okay. 
There we go. Any, well, I mean, I was trying to figure out what the deal with was, was with them, but I guess we just didn't, is the answer. We just didn't figure out the deal. And so we had a, we had a, a quick little fight. Nobody got too hurt. Uh, Shadowheart took a few points. Uh, Carlock, maybe you want to dash again. Renew your... I don't know how that works. I guess you can't renew. But we'll send a, uh, a good berry to our girl here. Where's the good berries? Let's just send those to Shadowheart and have her eat one or two. However many she needs to. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty good place to take a break. We've defeated the, uh, Kobolds. The Gith still remain a bit of a mystery. We're not sure where they are or what else there is to gain from the monastery. It seems like we've been everywhere. And there's not much left. What is happening? What is the slurp noise? Who is slurping? All right, well... <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, we've cleared out most of the monastery. I don't know what else is left, but I guess we'll find out next time. Until then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for leaving comments and being part of my community. Super appreciate that. Hope you guys are still enjoying the playthrough, and we'll see you next time. Take care.